Decker's life at large, a man and a shovel. It was 1994 when Coin TV first told you about 68-year-old John Callista. He does what few people ever do anymore. He digs graves by hand. And now he's 87 and still going strong. Now, Tim found him working at the very same place that he was 19 years ago. It is peaceful, eternally quiet here. Nearby, a dusty road points heavenward. And an old green pickup is rumbling towards a familiar place. John Callista and his shovels are back once more. A lot of folks out here, most of them know John. Yeah, I'm not alone. I'm all, I always got a crowd. <laughs> but it is a silent crowd. 45 years he's been doing this. No machines, just John. They come in spurts sometimes. And his shovels. One dies, you usually have three within a short time, so. And so, you see, they still need this 87-year-old man and his muscle. So there's five, of, five cemeteries in the county that I've dug for and his strong hands. I've had times when they would be, had to have two holes open at a time because they'd be burying two of them on the same day. One shovel full, then a next, and a next. It is how he met some of them. See, there's Bill O'Mara, and over there is the Woodrums. I think she was 100, but she died too, so William Con Davis. 67. From his very first to future. Well, Louise is not here yet. She's she's still alive. And present day clients. Just like this fella here. Him and I worked together on the John Day Dam even. It is always personal with John. There's two ladies in that third row over there think that they're 100 years old or older. Instead of Doug Gray's four. Good old fashioned hands on hard work. They keep telling me that I shouldn't be doing it. I'm too old to be doing that. And I should be taking it easy. I said, I can't find anybody that wants to do the job. So I'll probably have to dig my own. You can, could fall in the hole and be there forever, I guess, as far as that goes. I told, I told them, they find me leaving the bottom of the hole, just cover me up. <laughs> a sense of humor does a fellow good out here. We've, bought a lot up there for the two of us so john's been married for 56 years now doesn't plan to move here anytime soon and that one up there that tall stone there was a confederate too much history to still enjoy this could be the bottom right here we're, we're pretty much in business the only thing is we got to go a little deeper too much work to still be done Reporting for you, Tim Becker, Coin Local 6. If you can believe this, digging graves was never a full-time job for him. He, by the way, is having both knees replaced soon. Mm -hmm. Before he retired, he was a heavy equipment operator. He did this part-time. He was working on the John Day Dam. Apparently, it only takes him three hours to dig a hole. Only three which hours. Which is amazing. And, and, of course, when this one's watching it, she says, he must have a really strong core. Yeah, that's, yeah. Have, that's hard work. <laughs>